we're also use clock arithmetic or mod 12 arithmetic to find the differences. We'll actually find the differences using two different techniques using mod 12 arithmetic. And we'll also check the results on the clock shown on the right. So first we have nine minus 14, which can be written as nine minus 14 mod 12, where the mod 12 applies to both the nine and the 14, or we can write nine mod 12 minus 14 mod 12. In terms of clock arithmetic, this is equivalent to starting with the hour hand pointing at nine for nine o'clock and going back 14 hours. Using mod 12 arithmetic, we can either find the difference first and then evaluate the difference mod 12, or we can evaluate 14 mod 12 first and then find the difference. Notice nine mod 12 equals nine because nine is greater than or equal to zero and less than 12, or because nine divided by 12 is equal to zero with the remainder of nine. 14 mod 12 is equal to the remainder when 14 is divided by 12. And since 14 divided by 12 is equal to one with the remainder of two, the difference simplifies to nine mod 12 minus two mod 12. And now we subtract nine minus two is seven, giving us seven mod 12, which equals seven. To model this on the clock, we can think of the hour hand pointing at the nine. And then because we're subtracting 14, we go back 14 hours. So if we go back 12 hours, we're back at nine o'clock. We need to go back two more hours. So back 13 hours, back 14 hours, we can see it's seven o'clock. Going back to mod 12 arithmetic, the other option is to find the difference first. Nine minus 14 is equal to negative five, giving us negative five mod 12. We need to be careful when we have a negative number though. We need to think of negative five as negative five equals negative one times 12 plus seven, because we're looking for a positive remainder when negative five is divided by 12, where the remainder is from zero to 11. And if we write the quotient of negative five divided by 12 as negative one with the remainder of seven, indicating negative five mod 12 equals seven. It doesn't ask, but we can also state that negative five is congruent to seven mod 12 because negative five and seven have the same remainder when divided by 12. To check negative five mod 12 using the clock, we would start with the hour hand pointing in the zero and simply go back five hours for negative five. So if we go back one, two, three, four, five hours, again at seven o'clock indicating negative five mod 12 equals seven. For the second example, we have three minus 29, which can be written as negative three minus 29 mod 12 or three mod 12 minus 29 mod 12. Once again, notice three mod 12 equals three and 29 mod 12 is equal to the remainder when 29 is divided by 12. 29 divided by 12 is equal to two with the remainder of five. The difference simplifies to three mod 12 minus five mod 12. But notice here when we subtract five from three, we get negative two mod 12. Again, we need to be careful when we have a negative number here. We need to think of negative two as negative one times 12 plus 10, because again, the remainder needs to be from zero to 11. And therefore we write negative two divided by 12 as negative one with the remainder of 10, indicating negative two mod 12 equals 10. Modeling three minus 29 on the clock, we start with the hour hand pointing at the three for three o'clock, and then we go back 29 hours, which is going to be two complete rotations counterclockwise, and then five more hours counterclockwise. So starting at three o'clock, we go back 12 hours, back 24 hours, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29 hours, and we can see it's 10 o'clock, giving us negative two mod 12 equals 10. The second technique using mod 12 arithmetic is to subtract first, three minus 29 equals negative 26, giving us negative 26 mod 12. Again, being careful with the negative number here, we need to think of negative 26 as negative three times 12 plus 10, and therefore we write negative 26 divided by 12 as negative three with the remainder of 10, indicating negative 26 mod 12 equals 10. Which means we can also state that negative 26 is congruent to 10 mod 12. And again, checking the result of 10 on the clock for negative 26 mod 12, we start with the hour hand pointing at zero and we go back or counterclockwise 26 hours. So we have negative 12, negative 24, negative 25, negative 26, giving us the result of 10. I hope you found this helpful.